I'm working on this piece of presentation with SGX Academy. Next week, I'm going to talk about China Big Tech. But, you know, before we move on to next week, I just thought that, you know, we have this interesting piece of news to share with you. And that's about what Tamasic talked about, this uh, China Big Tech. So let's take a look at this article here. The headline is Tamasic posed worst performance in seven years, but that's not the headline. But, you know, the key thing I want to emphasize is it remains positive on China tech despite market slump. The CFO said that Tamasic was optimistic with recent developments concerning Chinese tech as most Chinese tech company share price have rallied since last Friday. Uh, this article was published yesterday 11 of July, today is 12 of July. But last week on a Friday, I actually posted this video here, you can watch it here, uh, which is about Ant Group being fine. And of course, not only Ant Group, but uh, that's also Tencent. Tencent was also fine as well. And as you guess that today I want to talk about Tencent. But before we move on to Tencent, we have a bit of a further look into what's actually covered in the article. The CFO said that End Group was fine with a US 984 million fine. Now this, they view it as quite positive, meaning that obviously there was a lot of overhang in the tech sector. So she thinks that this is a good development for the sector and you can see that the stock Stock price have reflected this as well. Now, since I'm doing next week for SGX a session on China Tech, I want to cover one company here, and that's Tencent. I'm right now at the weekly chart of Tencent. Before we moved on to talk about the current technical aspects, I want to bring to your attention this particular price level that I'm highlighting here, and it's about 310. So this is the gray zone here. Look at the price here and look at the time. This was during the start of the COVID, the first time that we heard of COVID, and a lot of stocks, including Tencent, plunge. The 310 level, the one that I marked in gray, was the support level at that point of time during COVID period. And from there, price of Tencent moves up all the way from 310 to the high of 700. Now, in perspective, if you take a look at the current price, it means that if you were to buy into Tencent, then you are probably buying at a near to 50% discount. The high was about $700, and right now the price is about $339. Now, let's zoom in to what we are looking at right now. Uh, one, one thing I want to pay extra attention is this price movement here. Now, uh, a lot of time when I teach especially on stocks, I ask my students to have a look into the quarterly price movement. Now, this is the quarterly price movement here, and this is that grey support resistant region that I mentioned. Now, why is it that we want to take a look into the quarterly price movement? As a side note, if you take a look at the portfolio of fund managers, now a lot of fund managers would be reshuffling their portfolios and they will do it every quarter. Every quarter, they look at their price movement and every quarter they do a reshuffling. Now in this case here for Tencent, the quarterly price bar had already closed above the very strong resistant region. And in fact that this resistant region is now becoming a support region. Right. There, there was, in summary, a quarter close, which is bullish for Tencent. Right. Going into the day chart, so this is the day chart of Tencent right now. Uh, we are potentially seeing this very famous corrective pattern, which is this up impulse movement and a ABC corrective wave. So this would be the A and then this one, the B and this as a C. Now, Tencent again retraced into a minor support. So this place here would be a minor support of Tencent and that would be about 325. In terms of the price movement, we are seeing right now as a minor resistance for Tencent. But if Tencent can break above this minor resistance, which is trading around 340, all right, then I think that there is a high chance for Tencent to move towards the next high and that's around here. Okay, I'm just going to mark in the region for you. Uh, the, re the reason for thinking so is because that Tencent had a structure break. Now, what is a structure break? It's probably easier to switch it into a line chart to look at the structure break. 
Previously, Tencent had been in this downtrend here where we see a high and a lower high here and a lower high here, right? But at this point here, we are potentially recognizing that Tencent is making a higher high versus a previous high. So in this case, there was a structure break because this particular structure had been broken. Price to make a retracement towards a support and we're just waiting for price to break above the recent high, which is another structure at 340. Previous movement, which is this up trust here, give us that inclination to suspect Tencent could be having a minor bullish movement. And the current downward movement here is just a retracement. Do take note for price to close above 340 because this will set a bullish tone towards the next resistance at 360. Now, if you're looking for a short term price movement without the need to convert, for example, your Sing dollar or any other currencies to Hong Kong dollar, because if you want to buy Tencent direct, then you need to convert that into Hong Kong dollar to buy into Tencent. The one way to do that is to consider some structured products from Singapore Exchange. Personally, today I want to introduce this structured product which is a structured warren. I went to warrens.com.sg and extracted this warren here. So this is the trending warren with a fire beside it. Right now it's trading at 1.3 cents. If you consider and compare that to 10 cent share price, this is a fraction of 10 cent share price. What I did is also to key in my resistance level which I identified in the chart. If today is to move up to let's say 360 as the key level, then this warrant will move up by 61%. Uh, if for example two weeks later it's moved to 360, then the warrant will gain about 30%. Uh, that's, that's really substantial but as a disclaimer you can also lose money from trading warrants. Alright but uh, it does give you like another instrument to consider if you don't want to convert into Hong Kong dollar or you don't want to spend that much money into trading Tencent. Okay, I come to the end of my video and I hope that you enjoy this analysis. I'll be doing a lot more other analysis on US, Hong Kong and Singapore stocks. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and then the thumbs up and I see you in my next video.